Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to show you the step by step process of how you can install a Linux operating system on top of your Windows operating system. So I know many of you are having Windows machine. I am also having a Windows machine. But for learning big data, Unix, Linux, those kind of environments, Hadoop kind of environments, we need to know Unix and Ubuntu kind of operating system. But I do not want you to uninstall Windows and then install Ubuntu. We will create a virtual box and then install Ubuntu in that virtual box. So let us see how do we create this virtual box of Ubuntu inside our Windows machine. So very simple guys. First of all, you need to download Oracle VM. Okay, I have written four steps here. You need to download Oracle VM from this location. Okay. I'll give you the location in the description. You have to go to this location and download Oracle virtual box. Okay. You also have to download Ubuntu desktop. So this is your operating system, Linux operating system, Ubuntu. Okay. Both these things you need to download in the interest of time. I have downloaded both these in my computer and I'm going to show you once you download, then how the installation will take place. Okay. So this file, Oracle VM, VM virtual box file will be nearly 150 MB something and this file will be nearly two and a half GB because this is the whole operating system. Okay. Let us go to my downloads guys. You can see Ubuntu 20.04.1 uh, desktop and virtual box. Let me double click virtual box, which is 5.2.44. Let's go to next, next, next. Yes. Install. Okay. So I'm trying to install that Ubuntu virtual box in my machine. Once this is installed, then I will install the operating system on top of it. Okay. So as you can see, this installation was real fast because uh, it is a small software only. It's not something heavy and by default it's opening as well. When it opens, it will open like this. It will also create a shortcut on my desktop. If you can see your Oracle VM virtual box. Now come here and say new. Okay. In this new, I will give name to my new machine or my virtual machine. So let us say Aman U B U N T U Ubuntu. Okay. What is the type Linux? What is the version? My version is Ubuntu. So these are different, different versions of Linux based operating system. Mine is Ubuntu. So let me give Ubuntu 64 bit. Okay. Let's say next. Now, it is asking how much of RAM you want to give to your new machine or virtual machine. 4 MB is here. You can drag it very easily up to the green zone, wherever this is green. Okay. But let me keep it somewhere in between. Okay. Let's say somewhere here and say next. Create. Let's keep all these as default. Next. It will ask for hard disk as well. So here it is asking me how much of hard disk you want to give. By default, it's taking 10 GB. I can increase it to, let us say 50 or 60 GB. Let's keep it. Let's keep it 64 GB. Okay. Hard disk. I'm saying create. Okay. Once I say create, then a logo like this will be created. You have to go here, double click, open this and give the path of your Ubuntu operating system ISO file, which was there in my downloads. Okay. So go here and give the path. So let me go to my downloads and this is my operating system, right? Ubuntu 20.0 desktop. Let me open this and let me say start. Once I start, what I'm telling is kindly install that Ubuntu operating system in this virtual box. Okay. Now let us see what all information I need to provide here. It is checking few things here, guys. So as you can see, it is checking the disk size and uh, whether it can install the software in this machine or not. Let it check these things and then it will ask for whether I want to install or I am just testing or many things it will ask. Let's see that. So checking disk is completed. Checking finished. No errors found. As a next step, it should ask me whether I want to install or I am just doing a test run kind of thing. So as you can see guys, it is uh, changing in color. The meaning of that is this is Ubuntu color. Okay. So it is asking me whether to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So here I will say install Ubuntu. 
let it be the default english whatever is the default here let it be normal installation and let's say install now let us say continue let us say kolkata by default and i have to give a name of my machine let us say aman i need to set a password let us say 123456 again 123456 and say continue so the installation has started guys it will take some time so let me pause the video for some time and then once the installation comes back once the installation is completed then i will show you the next steps so you will see a message like this guys installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation let me click restart now okay so this machine will restart itself please remove the installation medium press enter let me press enter and this machine is restarting rebooting itself again with the new os let it open so as you can see ubuntu logo is coming now i am expecting it should ask me the password that i entered because the username is aman so i am expecting that username and the password will be open to me asked to me let's see that so this color is the ubuntu color we know now aman has come so inside aman 1 2 3 4 5 enter and it should take me to the home window of my ubuntu operating system yes here it is this is your ubuntu operating system guys running on top of your windows machine okay so the main thing in ubuntu operating system is nothing but your terminal you can go to terminal like this and you can type your commands here so this is my terminal let us close this this is coming for the first time this is my terminal you can write various command ls pwd date i will show you what are the basic ubuntu commands that you should know unix commands in a separate video but for this video guys you need to do these four steps download these two software one is oracle vm other is ubuntu installing i showed you step by step and then for some of you there might be a problem of this window resizing okay for me it is opening in the whole window because i had done one installation before okay for some of you this window might not get expanded this will be a small window as it was showing in the installation if you want to take care of that you have to come to the terminal and run this command that i will give you in the description like the way i ran all these commands you need to run that command okay and then your issue will be fixed come here and just paste that and enter okay so i hope you understood the step by step process of installing ubuntu inside your windows machine guys my windows machine works as it is you can see here this is my basic windows computer and then inside vm ubuntu is running if you reach to that stage write me in comment that you were successfully able to install if no write me what error you are getting and then we will move on to the next steps i'll see you all guys in the next video till then stay safe and take care